Yep. That's a piece of chicken in my teeth. Great. How's it going, everybody? Chris, aka Slurred Nerd, here from Rerolling, and I just want to talk about a couple things today that have been on my mind. My um, head space area where the thoughts are kept. But first of all, real quick, this is not a sponsor thing, but we have been trying out a few different uh, meal delivery kits here, and I'll do uh, another video about that later on. But if you check out my Instagram, you can catch some of the uh, meals that we're getting. We did a few from HelloFresh and some from Home Chef. Uh, we have another week of Home Chef right now that I ordered by accident. I meant to cancel, and, and it's I didn't do it in time, I guess, but uh, that'll be coming um, today, so I'll have some more of those, and also um, we should be getting some from Freshly, too, so I'll be comparing more of those um, later on down the road, but that will be on Instagram stuff right now. If you go there, you can already see some of it. I don't know why I yelled that last part. That was, that didn't make sense. Main thing I wanted to talk about today. So I was looking on YouTube because I have too much time on my hands and I was looking at some of the video channels from, um, some people in similar situations as me. They are not the typical people that you see doing workouts and stuff like that, that are trying to better their lives. And I'm trying to keep track of their journey and their process and things like that and one of the one of the people that i look at a lot is uh big mike if you go to his youtube channel big mike loses uh he's an awesome dude he's a little older than me uh really funny guy uh just super funny and, and i love that about him i love his sense of humor we have very similar senses of humor uh, but I'm just more don't know how to use that in front of a camera yet. You can hear it on podcasts all the time, but in front of the camera, I, I'm not, I don't, not as comfortable yet, I think. So there's that. But one of his videos, uh, he was talking about he had gained some weight back because he had kind of, not necessarily fallen off the wagon, but he had gotten out of the routine that he had been in as far as his meals and nutrition and things like that. Uh, he had stopped counting calories because he was trying a different diet and that was a diet of no to little carbs and so in that particular diet you don't really count calories as much you just kind of eliminate your carbs that means that even though he wasn't doing the carbs and stuff like that he was still eating way too much calories and so and I 100% believe in calories in, calories out, because I have tried all kinds of things. I have I have tried eating similar diets as that, and I've tried um, lots of restrictions and stuff like that, and have found none of that working for me except calories in, calories out. Doing all those other things, I didn't get very far uh, for several months since starting re-rolling. But in the last few months, I've lost about 10 pounds, and that is awesome. I, I'm feeling great because as soon as I got that calories in, calories out mentality in my head, all of a sudden the weight starts dropping off because I was paying attention to stuff. Ta-da! There's the big secret. You got to actually like pay attention to what you're eating. Weird, right? Anyway, one thing that he asked at the end of his video was, what are some things that you guys do when you fall off that wagon? And so I was like reading through the comments and stuff like that and... I left a comment today because my big thing that I have to do, and I have to do this for myself, is forgive myself. That doesn't sound like a lot. You might be like, well, that doesn't help me because I'm not mad at myself. Uh, I need to know physically, what do I do? But I think if you're going to be honest with yourself, one of the big things you need is to be able to forgive yourself. Forgive that you you binged. Forgive that you went over your calories one day. Forgive yourself that you got off track for a week or two weeks or a month or three months. Forgive yourself for that. And if you're like me, you're somebody that has kind of, uh, as far as losing weight, you've been wanting to or been trying to for several years and things just haven't worked out and you beat yourself up every time or you get overwhelmed with the lack of results and you give up. I can't tell you how many times I've done that. I've done it a lot. But once I figured out that a big component, a big problem I had was being so hard on myself, I learned that I needed to forgive myself to accomplish the things that I want to accomplish. And it wasn't until I figured that out did I start feeling more positive about things, that I start having a better attitude towards 
uh, the way I eat and the way I exercise and the way that I make these changes in my life to try to sustain a healthier me. I was thinking about that in the context of my re-rolling brand and that I started this whole thing quite a while ago. I, I feel like it's it hasn't quite been a year, but we're almost to that point. And total since I started, I've only dropped 15 pounds. And that is very, very disappointing. For a while, I was feeling kind of ashamed about it, and I feel like that probably affects people, you know, um, watching or supporting or getting on board with what I'm trying to accomplish. And I don't mean just in YouTube or anything like that or, or on Instagram or social media. I mean, you know, in my personal life as well. I'm sure it is hard to take somebody seriously that keeps talking about what they're doing to lose weight, but then you never see that weight come off. I hadn't been doing things right. I hadn't until recently. It's only in the last couple months that I've adopted a mindset that allows me to make the achievements and the strives and the sacrifices needed to be made to do the things that I want to be able to do to shape my body in the way I want it to be shaped. So the point of this video basically was me to actively um, and, and have some proof out there for me to go back and look at later to forgive myself for not making the accomplishments in the amount of time that I thought I would or the amount of time that I expect I should have. It's all right. It's okay. It's not going to stop me this time. I'm just going to keep going. Whether it's years or months or weeks or days or one day of falling off that wagon of, uh, of binge eating or not sticking to your your healthy eating habits or, or not having exercised. No matter the length of time, you forgive yourself and you start again the next day because that is the, uh, the, the great thing about time. You can always start over at any point. You don't even have to start over the next day. You can be like, you, you know what? I had a, a shitty lunch. I ate way too much. I'm going to start over right now. I'm going to start over at dinner. At dinner, I'm going to eat healthy. And then the next morning, I will I will get up and resume my regular habits and stuff. Forgive yourself and move on, and that's how you're going to accomplish your goals. Thank you, everybody, for clicking on this video, unless somebody forced you to watch it and they clicked it for you. And in that case, I want to thank them for forcing that upon your eyes and your ears. Please leave a comment, like, subscribe, hit the little bell thingy. Um, I'm trying to make more videos more often. We'll see how this goes. Um, it's a little helpful to have a new rig where I can record on my phone instead of having to set up all kinds of shit. That's, that's the goal, the dream, the hope, uh, and that's Bulbasaur. So once again, thank you, and I'll see you next time.